everyone, Tina here with Tina's Inspired Art. I hope you all are having a great day today. Thank you for joining me. I am excited about today's pour. We are going to work on a uh, 16 by 20 inch canvas today. It is a level three gallery wrap from Artist Loft. And I am going to do a Dutch pour, but with a different design today. It's going to be kind of exciting, something new and fresh. And I am still going to incorporate my signature style on it as well. I'm going to start off with my base interior house paint. It's PPG um, Pro Contractors interior house paint that I purchased from Home Depot. And I'm going to have a really pretty palette of colors today. Um, and I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven colors that I would like to incorporate into this design. I'll go through them so you can see what we're going to do. Um, a Liquitex Black, a Liquitex Olive Green, a Pebeo Studios Acrylic Blue, it's an iridescent blue, a Liquitex Silver, um, the Pebeo Studio Acrylics, this is the iridescent iridescent green yellow um a liquitex gold and an arteza lime green so those are my seven colors that i would like to incorporate into this dutch pour today my design is going to be somewhat different than what I've ever done. So I'm excited about trying something a little bit different, but I'll have to say my design is going to lean towards being um, kind of like natural greenery. Um, I want that real free flowing kind of viney greenery um, feel to it. And that will help incorporate my signature style as well. So yeah, I'm going to flood my canvas with my interior white paint. I'll cover my sides, pop my bubbles, and I'll put you on fast forward for that piece of it. And then I'm, we'll come back and we'll design this together and blow it out and see what this beauty looks like afterwards. So yeah, stay tuned with me. Thanks again for joining me guys and stay till the end because I've got some announcements at the very end of this video um, to share with you, okay? Hey guys, I'm back. I flooded my canvas and I have covered all my sides and popping just the last few bubbles that I see coming up, surfacing to the top. And sometimes I see them surfacing and just popping. So I'm gonna let those pop a little. I did go over it quickly with my embossing gun. That's what I use to pop my bubbles rather than a, a live flame on my interior paint just feel like it's a little safer, but I do want to make sure that the bubbles are popped. They keep surfacing those little crazy bubbles. Come on, I'll get you. Sometimes, sometimes they just are stubborn. Okay. I think that's good. If we see any more, we can just scan it real quick with 
as I say that, <laughs> we can take the embossing gun one more time after we lay down our design. Now the fun part starts. We're going to lay out our design. We're gonna start off with our black. And I'm going to start from this end working this way with my design. So I'm gonna lay out one kind of like, kind of like that. scrape my paint in there <laughs> and I can fix that and like that I'm going to do one like this and one like that I want them look kind of kind of viney bring this one out just a tad longer and maybe one like that I think I think that's about it that I will do. I'm gonna bring these down along the edge. I do want that to trip over. There we go. And what I might do is blow it from this way up instead of sitting here in front of it. I'm gonna walk around my table and blow it this way. But I need to see, because this is going to be like hanging, almost like vines hanging off of a shelf or something, so to speak. Now with my olive green, drip that over the edge. I'm crisscrossing it back and forth. Give it a little bit of variety. Like I said, I've never done this design before, but I think with my signature style, I believe it's going to look really pretty. I'm going to add a little bit of this blue. I don't want a whole lot. And in fact, I'm not going to add it at the stems. I'm going to just add this blue just a little bit at the top. Not a whole lot. Okay, that's with the blue. That's that iridescent blue. I'm going to add a little bit of this very light silver. It's almost like a white iridescent. Okay. 
I just added that at the top, but I think I'm going to do it down below as well. Went outside the lines too, just a give it a little variety. Now I'm going to go in with this uh, lime green, or this is, sorry, this is the Pebeo Green Yellow. And do the whole thing with this one. Okay, now with a little bit of gold, I'm only going to do the gold at the tips. Just at the tips with the gold and then the lime green. I'm going to do it all. Alrighty, let's see. Do we need anything else? I think I'm going to add just a tad bit more of this black right on, just a itty bitty bit at the stems. All right, I think, <laughs> let's hope this is going to work. I need to get some of those bubbles real quick. See them start to see. I am going to walk around and go over there and blow this way. So hang on. All right, getting ready to do this one. I'm going to just walk around this way so I can have more control over it. So here we go. Let's have some more fun, guys.
now let's see how this looks. I think once I incorporate my signature style, I think it will come together. Um, it does look pretty cool. The colors look really good together. Um, lots of shimmer. Um, yeah. Let's um, incorporate my signature style and see if we can't make this that much prettier. Um, one more thing I want to do real quick. I'm not... Hmm. Should I? Yeah. I'm just going to leave it. I see this one area that I might want to blow out a little bit more, but... Let me see if I can incorporate my signature style and, and make it look the way I am envisioning. So, hang tight, guys. Right. I think I'm going to actually work on this side of the table um, as I'm doing my signature style. I'm going to move this out of the way so I don't accidentally knock it over. Um, and I will grab my rag that I need. So I'm going to work on this side of the table, working this way to do the signature style. And I'll start right here. Kind of make almost like a stem where I can bring things together. Like I said, I don't know what this is going to turn out to be, but we'll see if we can make it look good. I'm trying to make it really want to make it kind of look viney like I said before so maybe we can do it really wanted to do a really big one like this, but um, I thought, well, I'll start first with a smaller one. It's a 16 by 20 inch. We'll see if this looks good the way it is. I'm going to blow this out a little bit. I think it kind of looks fine in, to me. See how it comes out. Maybe, maybe when it dries, I add some other things to incorporate, you know, some other vines or something to it. Just trying to take it to a different level. 
Oh, it looks like I got a little clay. hidden in the uh, base paint. Sometimes you get little clumps in the interior base paint that you just dig them out. And usually you can just get them out with no problem and correct the issue. A little tight squeeze over here. Sometimes when you blow, you're blowing out your design, you can see those little clumps, and then you can go back and just get them after. I think I'm gonna work on this, guys, and I'm going to put you on fast forward and then come back and show you the final results. It's taking a little bit longer. <laughs> Hey guys, we're back and I have incorporated my signature style on this one. And as I look at this, I can actually think that we'll be able to hang it in either direction with these viney things hanging down or you can hang it where it looks like they're just growing up. So I will walk around and you can see the difference. And while I thought I was gonna like it better hanging down, I might like it better like this. So, but either way, you will be able to hang it. I'm zooming you in for a closer view. It will definitely shimmer when it dries. A little bit hard to see right now with the lighting, but trying to bring you in where you can see the shimmer. Focus. It will definitely shimmer. And it will look really pretty. It'll definitely bring, you know, just a little greenery looking vine on the wall. I think it's going to look super stunning. Something different, unique. It incorporates my signature style to it. I'm loving it, guys. I can't wait to show you the dried results. So that's going to be it for me today. Um, thank you again for following me. If you are new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell. So when I do post, you will be notified and check out my Facebook and Instagram at Teens Inspired Art. My website is www.tinasinspiredart.com. If you have any questions, you can email me at tinasinspiredart at gmail.com. 
Until next time, guys, I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye for now.